Hey, what is up, guys? I'm gonna jump right into this. It's a uh, classic beach scene. Airbrush on the t-shirt, of course. So I'm starting off here with a uh, just a fuzzy uh, circle and like a, a glow just to give it some kind of a border on the outside. Here I'm mapping out where the ocean wave is gonna be. And I'm doing the uh, water ripples from the wave like it's coming in. This is the uh, the underside of the wave as the uh, top of it's crashing over. Uh, the underside here and the front of it is uh, shadowed out quite a bit. So you're gonna have a little bit of a darker line into that. Uh, this is the top of the wave. And then this is the uh, horizon line in the background. This is where the, uh, the ocean water is gonna meet the sky and the clouds. Doing a little more shading here. All right, I'm throwing in the clouds here. Just basically some little uh, little fuzzy circles and uh, filling it in. Not not too dark, but using this Vicky Blue, which seems like I use in every video, but uh, it's a popular color for me. There's just some little wisps coming off the clouds. And then there's some, uh, those little wispy clouds that, that you see way up high. Adding a little bit of hot pink. This is going to brighten up the design and give it that uh, sunset look. You got to have a little bit of reflection in the bottom of the water and then uh, through the middle of the uh, ocean wave. Here I'm adding some green. And then now I've got uh, royal blue. Again, this is the underside of the wave, so it's going to be darker. There's like a little shadow, if you can imagine. I mean, this is this is not supposed to be like a photorealistic wave. This is just, you know, something you can do in five to ten minutes on a shirt. You know, the, even though uh, I don't live in a on a beach uh, resort town, still do quite quite a few of these. Here I'm using a uh, just a straight edge piece of paper, and this is going to make the uh, the edge of the water line a little uh, sharper. Okay, here I'm adding some white for the highlights. This is like uh, the, the top of the water of the wave. It's, it's kind of foamy. So you're gonna get this white spray coming off the top there. Just kind of make it look like it's spraying off on that top corner and then it's gonna come down. You're gonna get that white highlight on the top of the uh, where the wave is, is folding over and then at the bottom where it's crashing you're gonna have that foamy white splash which is gonna spray make some little uh, whiskey dagger strokes there and then put some little dots to make it look like the water is kind of splashing out. Now I'm giving the clouds just a uh, like a silver lining where the uh, sun is setting, you know, behind the clouds, so you'll see a little bit of uh, a light coming off the top of the clouds, and the same at the top of those wispy clouds. Looks like now I'm grabbing the uh, straight edge again, and this is where the water, where the highlight from the sun is going to be reflective at the bottom of that wave. And then the top of all those little uh, wave ripples are going to have a highlight. And then these lines, this is just kind of like uh, the surf. You get that foamy uh, surf that you see in the ocean. So that's, that's how I do it. I mean, I guess there's lots of different ways you can do that. But just some little lines and then you've got a little highlight of the light coming through the middle of the wave. Uh, here I'm starting a palm tree. 
just making the edge, edges a little bit uh, bumpy. And I'm just going to start doing some dagger strokes for these palm leaves. I always tend to airbrush these a little bit too perfect as far as uh, the form of them. Obviously palm trees are just going to be going all kinds of crazy directions, but you know, it just needs to look good. So I, I pretty much make all of them the same. putting some of that grass that you see growing or weeds or whatever it's whatever it is that you see growing on the beach and this is uh some shadows and where sand would would be and now we're going to write the name her name is ella i'm going to thicken the down strokes Some little bird silhouettes and then finish this thing off with a uh, purple drop shadow and then darken up uh, that wave a little bit and that is gonna do it thank you guys for uh, checking it out and I will see you on the next